Have you ever noticed the healing and therapeutic effects that dance and movement activities can have in your life? I have. When I dance, I feel expressive, connected to my body, and connected to others on the dance floor. This personal experience led me to the field of dance movement therapy. Dance movement therapy, as defined by the American Dance Therapy Association, is the psychotherapeutic use of movement to further the emotional, cognitive, physical, and social integration of an individual. Although this definition is helpful for understanding the nature of this particular expressive arts therapy, as a first year dance movement therapy student at Antioch University, I've begun to explore the question, what is dance movement therapy, more deeply. This exploration led me to the work of pioneers like Marion Chase, Trudy Shoup, Lillian Espinek, and Mary Whitehouse. I will briefly discuss these pioneers as well as one key concept of theirs that has helped deepen my understanding of what dance movement therapy is. Marion and Chase pioneered group work for veterans and for individuals with severe forms of mental illness. According to Chaiklin, Chase's belief that seriously ill mental patients rely to a large extent on nonverbal devices for the communication of emotions gave Chase the inspiration to use dance with groups in a psychiatric setting. One of the simplest ideas that Chase introduced to the field is mirroring. Mirroring involves reflecting the client's physical movements and emotional state to meet the client where they're at. Trudy Shoup pioneered her own form of dance movement therapy, which used her own experiences to better understand her clients. She once said, I can feel assured that the patient contains all the same elements or possibilities that we all have. They merely differ in duration, intensity, and arrangement. Trudy helped clients explore conflicting emotions, inner fantasy worlds, and alignment. She often used her training as a mime to humorously show clients extreme differences in posture. She said that one doesn't have to defend himself against something when that something strikes him as funny. Inspired by Carl Jung's idea of active imagination, Mary Whitehouse created Movement in Depth, which is now known as Authentic Movement. In an authentic movement session, a mover closes their eyes and moves spontaneously according to their own inner impulses. The therapist acts as a witness to the mover and after may discuss the exploration with the client or explore the movements through art, writing, or sand play. Lillian Espinek is responsible for many firsts in the field of dance movement therapy. Espinek created the first postgraduate program and was the first to create diagnostic tools for the field. Here, Antioch students demonstrate some of the activities that were part of Espinek's assessments. If you still find yourself asking, what is dance movement therapy? Remember the connection that Mary and Chase made through mirroring movement and feeling. Remember the psychoeducation that Trudy Shoup displayed through miming and humor. The space that Mary Whitehouse created for clients to explore their unconscious through movement. And the assessments that Lillian Espinek attained through movement observation. Also, Remember that this is only a small sampling of techniques from the field. Fran Levy's book, Dance Movement Therapy, A Healing Art, as well as the American Dance Therapy Association website, adta.org, are great introductory resources to learn more about this creative helping profession.